Welcome to my crochet no sew turtle tutorial. This is a super simple emigurumi tutorial so let's get right into it. So to start off the materials that you are going to need is a 5mm crochet hook, scissors, a yarn needle, 12mm safety eyes, stuffing and whatever two colours you want your turtle to be in. So to start off you're going to grab your green yarn and we're going to start off by doing six single crochets in a magic ring. So I use the two chain method to do my magic ring and I'll show you how to do that. So we'll start off with a slip knot. And then we'll do two chains. And then the first chain is our magic ring. So we'll do our six single crochets into that first chain. For the next round we are going to do 6 increases, so we're going to increase into every stitch until we have 12 stitches. Then we are going to put our stitch marker in. I use scrap yarn. And for the next round, we are going to do single crochet increase times six. Now we're going to single crochet for two rounds. So once we've done that, we're going to do single crochet decrease times six, and that'll take us down to 12 stitches. Now we're going to grab our safety eyes. So we're going to put them in between about rows three and four. They're not going to be perfectly even on either side since we're working in rounds. And then we're going to clip them in. And then for the next round, we're going to do six decreases. And then we're going to add some stuffing. And 
And then for the final round, we are just going to single crochet around. So six single crochets. And then we're going to finish off. So we'll just cut off. We don't need to leave a tail and pull through and then we'll put the head aside for now. Okay, so now we're moving on to the fins. So I'm just going to show you how to make one of the fins and then you can make all four fins off of that part of the tutorial. So to start off, we're going to do six single crochets into the magic ring. So after you've done that, we'll just do six increases. Then we'll put in our stitch marker. For the next round, we are going to do single crochet increase times six. So single crochet increase all the way around the outside. So now we're going to take our stitch marker out and what we're going to do is we're going to fold our fin in half. So I'm just going to shorten the original tail a little bit and we're going to fold this in half. So just like this and now we're going to single crochet around the outside. So to connect the two halves. So we'll go into the first stitch and go through the other side and then single crochet. And then we just keep doing that all the way along. So into the, this stitch and into the stitch on the other side. And our last one. So this is what the fin should look like. I'm just going to leave a little bit of a tail to weave in. And I'm just going to weave that in right now. bring it to the middle and then cut it off and now you're just going to make four of those so this is our first one and now you make three more okay so once you have made all four of the fins we're going to put those aside and we're going to begin working on the shell so you're going to grab your brown yarn or whatever color you are using for the shell so we are going to start off with six single crochets in the magic ring. Then 
Then we're going to do six increases, which will take us to 12 stitches in total. Then we're going to put our stitch marker in and we're going to do single crochet increase times six. So single crochet increase all the way around. Next we're going to do two single crochets and an increase times six. Now we're going to single crochet for two rounds. So all the way around for two rounds. So for the next round, we're going to be working into the front loops only. So the front loops are just one of the loops here. So it's like you go through the middle of the two loops. So that's the back loop. And I've just gone through one of the loops, whereas we normally go through both loops. So we're going to be doing three single crochets and an increase times six into the front loops. So we'll just go into the front loop and we'll do our first single crochet. So we're just really trying to only go into that one loop.
So once we are onto the final stitch, we're going to do the first single crochet of our increase. And then in the second single crochet, we're going to switch over to green. So we, once we've done the first loop of that single crochet, we're just going to pull through with green. I'm just going to cut brown off and put it aside. Okay, so for this round we are going to be single crocheting all of the pieces on, but we are also going to be working into the back loops. So I don't know if it's super hard to see with the plus yarn, but if you look at these little loops that we didn't go into in the last round because we were going into the front loops, that's what we're going to be going into. So I'm going to talk you through this round. So with our green yarn, we're just going to start off with two single crochets into the back loops. So here's our first back loop. We're just going to go into that. So you can see sort of where the round is. So we're just going to put our hook into that. And we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to do another single crochet into the next back loop. And now we're going to grab one of our fins. So you can see one end is sort of more pointed. We're going to go into the other end. So this is the back of the shell where we are now, where the stitch marker is. So we want the rounded sides to be facing the back first. We're going to go into these two stitches here. And we're going to go into the underneath first. So this is where we're going to go into first. So we'll put our hook in there. And then we'll put our hook into the next back loop. And now we're going to single crochet through both the back loop and the fin. And now we'll put our hook into the next stitch on the fin. And into the next back loop and we'll do another single crochet so that's what it should look like and now we're just going to do three single crochets into the next back loops And now we're going to grab our next fin and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to put our hook into the first stitch here. And then into the next back loop. And then we'll single crochet through both. And then back into the fin. And into the back loop and single crochet. Now we're going to do another two single crochets into the back loops. And now we're going to grab our head. So we're going to tuck the tail inside. So we're going to single crochet into the back here. So I want my eyes to be further towards the top of the head. So I'm going to single crochet into it upside down. So we'll put our hook through two of the loops. So we're closing up this hole. And then we'll put our hook into the back loop of the next stitch in the shell. And then we'll 
do a single crochet through all of those. And then we're going to put our hook through the next two stitches of the head and into the back loop. And then we're going to single crochet through those. So now the head is on and now we're going to do another two single crochets into the following back loops. And grab our next fin and we want this side to be facing this way so we go into the back and then we go into the next stitch of the fin single crochet and now we'll do three single crochets into the following back loops of the body and then we'll grab our final fin and we want this side to be facing backwards and we'll go into it upside down, just like we've been doing. Into the back loop. Into the next stitch of the fin. Into the back loop again. And then into the following two back loops. And that concludes that round. So now for the next round we are going to do two single crochets and decrease all the way around on the green. So we'll find the first green stitch which is here. we will begin our next round. So two single crochets decrease all the way around. And this one is not in the back loops or the front loops. It's in both loops. So once we have completed that round, we are going to do single crochet decrease times six for the next round. So now we are going to stuff the shell. So grab your stuffing and we're going to try and add as much stuffing as we can fit inside the shell. Okay, so my camera just cut off there for a second, but once you've completed this single crochet decrease round, we're going to move on to six decreases.
And then once we've done that, we're going to leave a slight tail for sewing the turtle shut. And then we're gonna pull through. And we'll grab our yarn needle. And then we're gonna go through the front loops of each stitch and pull it shut. Bring it to a random spot in the body and cut it off. And that is your turtle complete. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed making your no sew turtle. I upload tutorials every week, so make sure to go check those out. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye.